All right, yesterday was Saturday and I spent the day getting my dinghy set up so I can attach it to my new davits, which are now big enough to support putting my dinghy on pretty easily. Last night I set it up and still there in the morning. Good job. What I had to do was out of Dyneema, which Dyneema is awesome. It's basically rope, but it's super, super strong. So you can have a really small piece of rope that can hold a lot of weight. So I made these four lengths, which uh, with a loop on each side and one loop, uh, one end of each rope goes into each four corners of the dinghy and then the other ends connect to some hooks that are on the davits and then I can hoist it up. So it's pretty cool. I need to adjust them a bit because first um, the quality of the loops I made just aren't as good as I wanted. Uh, the problem with Dyneema is it's very slippery so you have to be careful about how you modify it and I didn't bury enough rope inside of itself so that the friction keeps it from moving like a Chinese finger trap. I also spent some time to remove the old name of the boat from the back and I think this week I'm just going to with a sharpie or something put the new name on. That's been months coming and I've just been too lazy to do it so it'll get done and it doesn't need to be fancy. But today's plan is I've got to take apart the aft cabin so I can get access to the batteries and I'm going to measure everything out in order to, for all the cables uh, and for the solar panel. So I want all the measurements done today so that I, tomorrow morning, I can just go and buy everything and then spend the whole day wiring everything up. And hopefully by tomorrow night, I will have that all done so that'll be really great you see those those are jet skiers scum of the sea jet skis are designed apparently to have the largest wake possible and so every time they come by they just rock the boat and it's super annoying because i've been pretty bad at paying attention to two steps down the line. Um, I did not put a block below the where the inverter is going to go for some wire. I did make a hole in the foam for that. I haven't put the block yet. And also, because I was not paying attention, it's not a regular surface there, so I sanded this away and it's not perfect, but it's good enough. I'm only gonna be able to get this block, this portion on. Uh, so I'm gonna put some epoxy on here and then psh, And since it's just for wire, it doesn't need to be that strong, so I think it'll be fine. But we're gonna glue this there and then we'll have a spot for wires right below where the inverter is. After crawling around a bunch, I realized I need to redo some of the wire cuts. I got, um, the batteries have to go in the complete opposite direction that I thought they would, just to make it easier to do something with them. All of the distances from the connectors on the batteries to my wires are wrong, so I have to redo those. And then I realized I completely forgot to include a battery switch wire. Um, so I have one wire that's too long, and then I need a new wire to go to the battery switch. This is uh, the result, I guess, of just not having experience and not realizing the things I need to do. So luckily, everything seems doable to me, and I just have to get it done. I'm hoping today I'll have all this done, but probably closer to tomorrow. 
because nothing's ever easy here, I went to the store to get my new wire, which I got. Ta-da! But they didn't have the lug sizes I need. All right, so for right now, I've got smaller wire that I can temporarily use because I know I'm not gonna push that much energy through the system, but I really need that wire at some point. One of the tasks I have to do is stop this wind turbine from spinning because a wind turbine needs to be connected to a battery or something when it spins, otherwise it can burn up. So to stop that, you just put a piece of rope in it. Now I also have for a long time wanted to pull this radar down because I have a new radar I want to put in and I need to see if it fits in there. So I think I might start with pulling the radar down and then working on the wind turbine. Well, after pulling down the radar, I decided to see if the existing bracket matched the radar for my uh, my new radar, and it did. So I figured, hey, I've already taken it down, I should be able to put it back up. It went all right. I think I probably could have done it better. There's probably some things in there, uh, some little boat tricks that I don't have, but my new radar's up. It's not plugged into anything, but it's up. What's on the menu for today? Well. There's this thing here, which maybe it's a French thing, or maybe it's a Martinique thing, I don't know. But it's called cassoulet, and essentially, it's more of an idea. It's that your entire meal should be in one can, and you just heat it up. So this one is sausages, which just look like American hot dogs to me, and beans. And then I have another one which is can canel uh, cannoli cannolis cannolis I don't know what I'm saying you know what I mean with beef inside so which one are we gonna try today well as much as I'm a glutton for punishment with these things I just don't understand how like is it just one of these in this one can how do you warm it up and everything I think I'm gonna go with the beans I feel it's a little bit safer choice, but we're gonna zhuzh it up a little bit. I got a potato here and a shallot, and we'll see how it goes.
All right, let's see what we got here. Get in real close so you can see all those beans, potatoes. Where's my uh, where's my sausage? Oh, here's a sausage. All right. A sausage is a lot like an American hot dog, except it's lighter. It's kind of like eating air. The sauce in here, I guess I was just expecting like a big bean style sauce, but it's like some sort of like cream sauce almost. It's not bad. I think I prefer like baked beans with sausages in them. Or I don't know if you want to call these sausages. It's just a hot dog. It's not a Malcolm project unless I go to start to do something and I realize I'm missing some fundamental piece of knowledge or possibly equipment. Uh, today I was missing some wires and I didn't know if I had to wire a certain thing up. And I think I'm good. I picked up the wires I need. All right, I think I've got everything I need here to do. Everything I need here to do the battery install. So I gotta put these, and each one of these weighs about 30 kilos into there and pull those big guys out. But first, we have to turn off the wind gen. What's super annoying here is, so there's these blocks to keep this from moving, but to keep my batteries from moving, but because batteries are smaller, I need to move them. However, every other block screw doesn't come out. So I can't move these. And it's really annoying. I think I have to cut these screws off or something. Uh, I've got some spare wood around, which I think uh, I'll just use instead and leave these here for now. Also, I'm so hot in here. I'm sweating like crazy. I'm probably gonna short something out with my sweat.
is the existing solar wire. You can see how junk it is. But the idea is either with this one or this one to be able to run a little bit of string through and then I can pull through the rest of the wires. I need to drill one single hole in the boat to run the next solar panel line through. And the wind is just so nuts, it's not even 8 a.m. in the morning uh, that I don't trust being able to hold tight to do it. Ugh. This wind has been a total pain in the butt for like a week. I've been trying to put up my Genoa sail for probably seven days and just every day it's like, nope, too windy. So I think we're in the home stretch here. I just have to attach the MPPT. All right, huge win. Uh, so it's negative because I'm using some stuff because I'm pulling stuff from the batteries. But when the sun's out, this goes to positive and I've seen it go as high as eight amps. Isn't that wild? And then I can see in the app that I'm getting some energy pushing only 1.3 amps through, which is going 3.4 amps to the batteries. So this will look more impressive when uh, the sun is out tomorrow. Right now it's kind of hopefully tomorrow. I think um, once I've got everything put together, maybe I'll do like a little tour of everything I've done. So this week has been really good. Um, challenging, but good. I functionally got what I wanted to do, which was the, sol the solar panel behind me and the batteries. I got them installed and they're working, but I didn't tidy up or anything like that. So in that sense, this week didn't go what I, like I wanted. But um, I think one big difference between this week and last week with the alternator, which I was really frustrated with, and I felt like nothing was going my way and I also just didn't know how to do the alternator properly and I was really worried about doing it wrong. In this case, um, everything I ran into was sort of an unexpected thing and I managed to work around it and it was frustrating that it happened but I didn't feel like I was lost at any point in time. I felt like I knew what to do 
um, or at least how to figure out what to do. And, and I wasn't worried that, oh no, I could break something or destroy something like that. So I'm really happy with this week.